All right, I cannot adequately capture the size and majesty of this tree. This is a weeping beech on the Mohonk property. And come with me into the deep, deep green. This is something out of every amazing story ever. It just, it creates this huge tent outside and we are now inside the tree. There's my lovely wife having already climbed. I have no idea how old this tree is. If it's as old as the property, then 1890s, and I suspect possibly older than that. And it's just all these branches. Yeah, it's, it's gorgeous. It's a tree that just invites you to lounge on its branches. Stretch out in the green shadows with the filter of gold. Sun coming through, laid back and stare at the patchwork sky. If you look very closely, and I'm not sure how clear it will be in the video, you can see that they've enabled the tree to stand up. All of the different trunks help the other trunks stand up. There are these uh, wire cables that are sunk from main trunk to main trunk to keep them from sagging and breaking under their own weight. And then there's this fun little thing that I found while I was contemplating climbing it. Not my wife. Ah, I found her before. Let me sneak around here. I apologize if we get a little shaky cam for a minute. There's the sun peeking in. But nestled in a nook of the main stretch of trunks. Hello. There's a lovely little surprise. There is a little well of water that somebody has left flowers at. So we're not the first ones to notice this. It's super cool. So let me step back and it actually looks like the water might have trickled down the trunk. Yeah, yeah, the water, the water collects there. there. And I'm certain birds and other things come and drink. Yeah. All the way up. And just enveloping this entire corner of the property. Yeah. I'm kind of confused about how to get down. Uh, from where <laughs> you're getting down, honestly, I'd say if you can get a leg around and then just drop down, I'll help you drop down. Mm. And we'll stop periscoping <laughs> so they don't see us if we tumble to the, to the uh, dirt that might happen. awkwardly. Oh, I might be able to see now on this branch over here. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe not. Oh. <laughs> are, are you feeling a... I'm a monkey. Uh, if you're feeling like a monkey. I, well, I don't know. Hopefully I don't end up periscoping while I then subsequently have to call 911. <laughs> I think I... oh... Hmm. Maybe? Uh, I'm, oh, I got this. Let me get not, from, not underneath you. Okay, that's a good idea. <laughs> Just... Okay, here we go. You're, you're limber and strong and... <laughs> ooh, there you go. <laughs> I hit my head on a tree. <laughs> I'm trying to hurt. Sorry, tree. <laughs> you did swing around pretty, pretty swiftly there. I did. I you wondered if that was going to happen. But the skull's all still in one piece, at least. Well, you know, there's <laughs> always a few scrapes. <laughs> yeah, just I love the shape of the it's trunks. So unique. This is, this is, I think so, yeah, there's one tree, two, three, four. I think that's just conjoined twin trees. Hmm. I'm gonna step back out, out of the tree, so we can like really get a feel 
Uh, I'm gonna switch this around so you can see me walking out. The ridiculous floof of my hair. I was <laughs> swimming. So, and then we'll get to see the tree behind me because it's so big. There's just so much, so much green. There's the exit. Yeah, there's just like one little opening between the branches that you can find your way out of. And I'll just keep walking so we have the tree behind us. Until maybe you can see the whole thing. We'll see. Yeah. So much tree. There we go. It's huge. So yeah, we're uh, at Mohonk in New York State. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna flip it back around so like I can really aim it. I'm kind of like staring at the sun and having a trouble. There we go. And for those of you who came in late, I'll sneak back in through this. You can, you can just see like this little inviting nook among the boughs that hang all the way down. This close, it starts to look like a hedgerow or a hedge maze. Deep, deep into the green, the dappled sun. The fallen leaves. Makes me think about that Yeats poem, Away, Come Away, Mortal Child. I love wild places like this. Yep. There are so many nifty things to find here on this property. So, I will be periscoping off and on. Nothing planned, just when I find something amazing, I'll, I'll pop it on. <laughs> All right, for the moment, I think we were back to investigate horses or barns, or I'm not sure what. Where we are at is on um, the property of Mohonk Mountain House in New York State. Uh, it is a resort, uh, actually a, an enormous castle in the mountains. Mm. Most of it is made of stone. It's this big, wild, crenulated building with fortifications and towers. I'm going to stop periscoping for a little bit, but as we get closer to the building, I might uh, mm -hmm. periscope the approach because it's really impressive to look at. Uh, when we drove in, mm -hmm. it was night, so it was just like this kind of wild nighttime journey up a winding one-lane mountain path. Uh, but for the moment, adieu, adieu.